his super, see, his his meteor doesn't does not kill a 10-4, and his super gets sucked into the black hole. So he needs bubble in order to not take 10 damage here. No, not good enough. This guy so that's guaranteed lethal, got him. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're trying an interesting idea. This is the face hitters deck. Now, uh, even though the uh, minions are running this deck, they don't really look like they have synergy, but they actually do. And that is they are all must answer threats in one way or another. Uh, the genetic experiment is going to be grown, so they have to just remove this as soon as possible or else it's start going to get really, really value every time it hits face. That's what we're calling this face hither. Same thing with the space time. If they ignore this, it'll be conjuring you a bunch of OP cards. Swashbuckle, they're not running any other pirates in this deck, but this will be growing uh, to a 3-3. So the excavator, I was going to run stealthy if that does uh, more damage, but this really overall has better stats. It can make trades better, and it has a really good ability with the black hole. The idea is to set up the black hole on turn one or your genetic experiment. The moment a turn happens that they don't have an answer, they're going to be in trouble because then one of your minions are going to be hitting face, getting ridiculous value. And the next turn, you're always putting in a stronger threat uh, on the field. Typically the Raptor, again, must answer your card. It's going to be conjuring and growing like crazy. Uh, the Tomb Raider, perfect for a deck like this. They're going to have to deal with what you played the turn before. Uh, and then this is going to be making free zombies. Pogo is very good at balancing a lane to be able to activate not only a good removal card, a good finisher, but also to activate one of your cards that gets value from hitting face. And of course the gondola uh, is going to be the finisher. Um, so the way that an opponent would be able to deal with this deck is removing, having answers every single turn. And uh, if they do that, then eventually they could probably get ahead. But again, if they miss one turn, they're going to be in big, big, deep trouble. Going Bottle is a good finisher. Also wanted to run one laser-based alpha just to be able to add a little bit more of a finisher and face hitting potential. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. And we will get into the game. I really want to be playing on curves. So that's why I'm not running Smoke Bomb. You know, I want to be able to actually play the bigger threat rather than preserving what happened to Lester. Maybe Smoke Bomb is good. I'll, I'll, I'm open to making changes. Maybe Smoke Bomb. Maybe four Excavators is too much. Maybe the Gondolas don't really do enough. Really looking for the Tomb Raiders to get a lot of value. When we do decks like this that sort of stack threats on top of threats, it seems like Tomb Raider usually does really, really well. Um, and let's start bets over here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash fry up. It's going to be regular bets. If you think this deck can win 8 out of 10, vote yes. 7 or fewer, vote no. And let's go. We're looking for that black hole. This is a curve, though. This is fine. So, this is interesting. We're playing this... I guess not in the lane where it can die to Spike Weed Sector next turn, so we'll put it here. It likes to be in the middle, but I guess against Guardian. Usually, anyway, this will die to one of the superpowers. Decides not even to go after it, which I don't, this doesn't make any sense. Why would you not go in that experiment? Come on. Come on, man. So, space time can either go face. I'll put it here for the stat buff of the genetic experiment. It wins that trade. Opponent would have to put like a, a corn dog behind that in order to just make an even trade here. That's okay. It's enough value. It made him play Spike Weed Sector, wasted his turn two, kills this 2 1, and buffs the uh, genetic experiment two times. It'll still buff it this turn, so that's cool. Actually, we just go. We can just go Excavator now. Should I go Excavator or Raptor? He can always replay this, but it'll cost him two to replay it, so it makes him kind of slow. All right, uh, let's just look at block meter. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell where, which one of these two lanes probably won't make a difference. Hard to predict what's hitting next turn. There's another one. So what's better, a four-one or the one-one? Um, probably the four-one. So that's a lot of damage. <sighs> Tomb Razor should be good. Whoa. <laughs> My sizing just glitched. Rubber Ducky instead of Swashbuckler. Maybe. Maybe. Um, alright. 
He didn't end up. So he's down to three. Like, <laughs> what is he gonna do now? So we'll just play like Swashbuckler and going viral, and we'll win. This man in trouble. He's gonna move that. Okay. Swashbuckler doesn't do a whole lot here. Probably it's still right though, because of going viral, yeah. Let's just do this. No! Oh my gosh! Okay, my side sync is glitching. Oh, okay. We can still do blow going viral, which is it's it, it might even be better for finishing here. That's just so annoying. It happened to me yesterday too. Where I like flashed it, it didn't drop, and I instinctively just pressed the end turn button. Uh this is gonna be lethal lane one anyway. Ooh, yeah, it's lethal lane four now. We it's guaranteed on the Blow for BM. All right, and just like that, we are one and zero. Extra value. What is the gravestone gonna be? We'll never find out. Will be yeah, this the swashbuckler seems a little bit off. I think Ducky would be better? We wouldn't have enough twos then. I really wish there was a better a better option than Swash. I don't know what it would be. Ice Pirate into this, just die so badly to Spike Weed Sector, it's never really worth it. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Headstone Carver, we're not really running enough gravestones for that. Cool, so we have two options. I'll probably start with the 2 1. I mean, on curve, this is pretty awesome. So maybe I'll just ditch this. I mean, this will probably curve out with something else like on turn four. So, so I'll actually go with the black Paloma. Covers it. That's it. The damage is done. So we could go for three and one. I think whatever he puts here is just gonna die to the blow anyway. I mean, he would have to be have such big stats. Yeah, let's just play this and blow. He probably is not even going to play here. He's going to block the swashbuckler and we'll blow it in lane two. No, I didn't play around. It's kind of obnoxious. This is fun. So it keeps a 4-2 on the field, but it's a really good blow. I think the two, well, the, if we play in lane, in this lane, it, it doesn't look like a pogo. It really looks like a tomb razor. I think this is fine either way. Would Lion Dancer be good in this deck? It's not like a must answer threat like most things in this deck is. So. All right, Tomb Raider getting it done. We then have an opportunity to block us. This is so much value, especially if it gives us an expensive gravestone. If we get like a newspaper zombie. I <laughs> got another swashbuckler. Okay. Um, I think it's Pogo, and then we'll go three and three next turn. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 
definitely bounce this one so the Pogo doesn't die. Too bad we didn't roll one. He doesn't have Rumble anymore though. Wait. No, he doesn't have Rumble. <laughs> Doing. I'm not sure about excavators still. Because this is not the problem problematic lane. I think we're just going face with this. Here and going viral. Going viral makes this into a 5-5 frenzy ridiculous. Honestly, we don't even need Gondola in this deck, so this is making a free environment. We're doing 7 damage. A free Gravestone, I mean. This will be down to 1, 2 health, I guess. This does not hit us. Hell yeah. See, now this is the turn the Excavator is gonna be better. What do we get? Electrician Nuts! <laughs> That's so good. With these big Frenzy minions. See, we could gondola here. I think we do. Yep. The gondola's just to fill in this last lane. The bonus attack will proc the block. This is really good. Fry him up. Can you sing the acid rain song? I don't know if you tell, but I can, I'm humming it just because of your request. Acid rain, acid rain. So, what are we doing the bonus attack? What will it be? I think just proc the block as hard as we can, right? That's... It's it's nine damage. I don't think there's anything he can do about this. He can't deal with lanes one or five using his um his superpowers. This is guaranteed lethal. It actually makes it <laughs> that time to shine ends up doing nothing because we got a cryo yeti. Nice. So Gondola ends up finishing since we have pulled into it. It's quite nice. Didn't end up excavating this in Yep. Didn't need to. It seems like this deck is is um is doing pretty well. Again, if people were really building their decks with answers, you know? Removal in the first few turns, it's just not how plants really build build their decks. For the most part. If people ran a lot of primal potato mines and stuff, this deck would never work, but you know. Mm -hmm. Electric blueberry pecanal effect. Maybe. <sighs> I was gonna run sumo. We could run sumo instead of swash. It seemed like the swash was good that game with the black hole. This is it. This is really, uh, they're not getting it done here. Feels bad. This will just go here. We'll hope for a good team. I think even genetic experiment on one sumo on two could be good. I don't know. So he answers it. It's smarter, even though it's a rank nine. No! <laughs> Guys, look at the answer to Swashbuckler, this guy. Should I concede to the rank 9? All the people who voted no are telling me that I, I should not count this, and then all the people who voted yes think I should. All the no voters. This guy's beating me! I haven't actually decided if I'm counting this, so... I don't ner. I don't actually ner. Cabbage pole, Ophi. There was some talk 
uh, when I was doing tournament preparation of legit running, um, this guy's actually whooping me, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna count this from now, since we're losing this badly, we are really severely, especially with his hand, we are severely losing this game, so win or loss, I'm counting this, that's final, gosh, look at this guy, like, bro, did I save the frenzy, I probably will, god damn, Okay. We're still not safe here, I mean. So, I, I don't think preserving this. I think we're gonna save the Frenzy for the Gondola. It'll get a lot of value of Frenzy. Let's just prevent the damage going. So it's 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 well probably probably good just to play gondola here. A little gondola frenzy next turn. I mean maybe it's better just to control yeah, let's play gondola here so he has to play and block it with something. He'll have to spend his turn blocking this. He could chump block it and set up something. It's fine. Oh no, that doesn't do anything. Whoops. Oopsies. He's growing. So he's not even trying to block the gondola now. I feel like gave up on that idea. Nice pirate. This is getting a ton of value. Might as well blow. Next one, what? Makes him actually got the right one to there. We're not getting very good, <laughs> very good gondolas, but uh, but yeah. There go. It's a place to do Putting up a good fight for the low rank. Mm. <laughs> Feels bad. Feels very bad indeed. Um, so the question is, which one of these? I guess we'll go here. I think it's more value. Yep. Hopefully we roll one or two. No! Of course he rolled a three. Of course he did. He is protected! Uh, the well, only consideration is should we play around Doom Shroom? I think we should. <laughs> Literally playing around Doom Shroom since that's the only chance he has if we play a gondola of getting back into this game. Oh, I'll concede at the end of the game, but I'll still count as a win. If he sticks it out. Do we win here? We'll see by the block meter, right? Oh, he actually sur no, he doesn't survive because his team ups on him feels bad. He can still survive here. Rolls a three. Here's the shot. Look at this guy. Rolls a two. He can still survive. Got pirate synergy. We're good, chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> I didn't want to concede when it wasn't guaranteed lethal, but... Spamming legendaries against Rank. Listen, he didn't need legendaries. He just needed one super rare. It's called Doom Shroom. Would have been good to go. This guy literally didn't play anything super rare that game, though. Feel good. Not really, actually. <laughs> it was a quick game. It's okay. Uh, when you mulligan excavator and get black hole, feels bad, man. Um, you know, three. A lot of his superpowers really get absorbed by the black hole here. I don't know, black hole get well. All right, 
Let's go for black. Hole. What's right here? Now the spike weed does almost nothing, and Triceratops just loses loses the turn two trade. Even the guy he got from genetic application, I mean. It's just sad. I love this. This is such a cool setup. <laughs> the sad juggernaut. And now he's going to have two things to deal with. Three things, actually. It's going to be two space times and a... I guess the genetic experiment just goes in three now. This is really cool. It's going to be space time here and genetic here. So he, lose, he, he has three lanes now, which are problems. And next turn, it's going to be four lanes, probably. People are saying today's daily is impossible. Yeah. There's that. It's team up. <laughs> the team up ends up failing Jungle. against Black Bolt. Such a bad superpower, man. <laughs> so that happens. Uh, okay, so that does answer the genetic. That's pretty good. But we get a card that costs two less now. I mean, that's a three cost binary stars. Just ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe I should play the binary already. I kind of like it. It's not great with these, um... With the space times. So maybe I'll just play... I think I'll play Raptor. This is fine. I'll play the, the, I'll play the binary next time. <laughs> Keep going face here. And we still have a number of cards we can play. Give the mana shrinking violet is correct. Come on, man. Ugh. That's a two for one. Good. We'll save us. Can we hit here? And the Cali roll. This is ridiculous. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wow. That really hurts. He gets the team up again. Ugh. It's just pinging our block for you. Come on. So, I, I mean, well... I guess we'll go binary now. It's not a card that he can easily, like, remove. Still feels bad. And he grave busts it. I mean, this is not. This is. Oh, this sucks. Absolutely sucks. Come on, man. Sportuchus. I'm doing this for a card. I know we take extra damage. There's excavators. There might really be something better to excavate here. So, let's go for it. Like, the next card he plays gets excavated. It's fine indeed. Excavator going viral. I guess I'll play around Blockbuster? I don't know. That's fine. This is just a really expensive card to replay. Damage. 
Well, do we want to play the... Uh, I'm just thinking if we want to play Gondola next turn. In the water. Maybe we will. We're taking all this damage. Maybe I should just do this here. I don't really know what I'm doing next turn. There's five. We're really taking too much damage here. So this and the environment. Let's go. This looks cool for next turn, but I don't know. I guess it's just like this. We're uncomfortably low in health. That sapling costs six here, it's just so expensive. Shrinking, okay. And oh, there's Sporticus. This is fine, so we'll go with this play now. Alright. Dang. Let's see what the gondola makes. Maybe I'll just make a plank walker. Octo zombie. Hover go. Oh, that's fine. There's going viral. Going viral is kind of cool. Six and three. I don't know what to do. I feel like we need to block this lane at all costs. So let's go like this. I think I'm like this. And we have a removal plane. Yeah, this is rough. Grave removal is gonna suck. I haven't really shown any of those. So. Come on! I like the fact he's thinking because it means he just doesn't have a blockbuster and just wins the game here. Blockbuster draw a card. I don't know. Fling. He goes two. Why is he not covering this though? It's so weird. So it's gonna be this one. Just gets way more value here. Can we get something good, please? Where's the Zombots? Uh, strike through for two damage ain't bad here. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, if we proc the block, okay, it'll proc the block, it's fine. Pogo is exactly what we wanted to see. Heck yes. It just answers anything we need right now. Now he has the Great Buster, but we have a black pole, so as long as he doesn't draw a card, we'll be okay. He just top decked that, he had it last turn. Come on, man. He draws a card, though. So we lose. We lose in lane two. That's it. Just Grave Buster, man. There's nothing in this deck that could work here. Well, going viral. Well, st well, no. Well, nah, this can't hit. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're 100% done. Too bad. <laughs> Uh. Mm -hmm. Nice. My second gun though. Alright, three more. Yeah, I didn't have anything to do with it. Again, this isn't an aggro deck. It's a hit face for tempo, and that's why Wine Dancing is not in the deck. Wine Dancing is about damage, not value. Unless it hits two minions. Not what we're trying to do here. Alright, one. Well, uh, should I get rid of Tomb Razor, like, for real? I mean, I don't have to play it, too. I could also top deck something. I can also start with Neptuna. Alright, let's see if we get our... Uh... Oh, well. I wonder if I should play this early in case we top deck a two. Or even a one. When's the next golf video coming up? Maybe or later today? Haven't edited it. Edited it. Edited it. bad. Like, just compare Swashbuckler and Sumo here, if that was the option of the two drop. The, the, the Swash is way better. a gravestone this is just gonna get goatified it slows us down too much Wee! <laughs> looks like a pogo or another excavator he's not gonna expect Tomb Raider here hell yeah we have to set up these black holes as soon as humanly possible yeah, two, another two rings, right? I think we take it. So I think going viral and black holes is gonna be the way. Just double black hole, I don't even care. We can even go black hole and then reactivate the excavator. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So these two razors are actually fine. <laughs> Good. This protects us from Godify. So I think this is fine. Let's see if we roll one. Oh, heck yeah! <laughs> so this procs the block. This means weed whack. Nice. I guess he weed whacks lane too, anyway. Mogs that. That's okay. It just means we have an extra excavator now. Oh wow, that's so good, bro. Doing three damage and killing this, it just prevents two sun ramp. It means he can't play an eight drop this turn. Ridiculous. 
So it's definitely going to be a you. And then probably replay the environment and play um, Encrypt. Guess that's what's happening here. Freeze and you. What, what happens with the sumo? This is an excavator. Oh, I guess this goes here. So we want this to die. And we'll, we'll bounce this one. And we'll, we'll, we'll reactivate you. We'll get another minion. He'll heal for one right down here. Um, this wants to be, well... Should I replay this? Uh, yeah. Well, this dies. It means we're just playing laser base alpha this next turn, but that's fine. What do we get? Oh, high diver! Oh, high diver on heights? Uh, yeah, I think we let the high diver dive, and we'll just play this laser base. We'll bounce something and play two environments is what we're doing this turn. We'll play this next turn. <laughs> we're kind of whooping this rose. Feels bad. It moves twice. Yeah, when you bounce a black hole, it gets all weird. Any environment you bounce, it just like glitches. That's how how it goes. Oh my gosh. So this again is a is a high diver. So this hidden face is not that important here. Smack. We have another excavator. Pretty sure we take this out. And then we replace laser here. And we play this again. Free gravestone, la di da di da. Yeet. <laughs> We're doing three more. Actually, I mean, this could be lethal. Well, what does he have? He'll have go well, Godify. No, if Godify is lethal. Yeah, so he Oh, okay, so he heals, so it's not lethal. Alright. Uh, wait. Oh, no, it's seven. I never mind. Yeah, yeah, it's lethal. Godify would have mean he doesn't heal. Yeah. Lethal gets Godify. If he gets Weed Whack, then it would not be lethal. Right? That Rose just did not have the answer to this deck. The Tomb Razor was, was spawning so many minions that he just didn't. We had all these brains that we couldn't even use. That's why it's good to have extra lasers and going virals and stuff. I still don't think the gondolas are good enough for this deck, but... They're kind of fun. One, two, three. Uh, keep the second environment here? I think so. That's good enough. Oh, it means we're playing these on the ground. This has to be right. Okay, so one, two, three, block, four. Right. So awesome how we have this Neptuno Super and we had a better play on turn one. <laughs> Save this for it. Oh, it's fine to play this on four. We need a leap! We need a leap! Yes. So now he is going to have two threats on the field that he just doesn't have the answer. He also can't block, so this is going to be a 4-4. We'll put it here. The space time usually just doesn't die. The, 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 the reason this would want to be on the left is so the card it conjures costs one less before the space time dies. But on turn three with the black hole, the, I don't want this guy. He's just pass. Split ass. Split ass. We had a sumo from Tomb Raider the other game. So that's cool. It's also a face hitter, which is nice. This man doing. I, I think just set up another raptor. This is so cool. Uh, and Neptune super. 
This is what we got from the Raptor. One cost drone engine. It's so slow. He's still not answering a damn thing here. So we'll go with Laser Base Alpha this turn. Since we have a full field. That's cool. Conjure is a free trapper territory. I'll take it. This should proc the block. His super, see his his meteor doesn't does not kill a 10-4, and his super gets sucked into the black hole. So he needs bubble in order to not take 10 damage here. No, not good enough. This guy's so that's guaranteed lethal. Got him. <laughs> the guy just had no plays for the first three turns. I mean that was just brutal. Just brutal. Ooh. This deck is whoops. That'll be the highlight, I'm sure. Heck yeah. No, no. It's cooking some tush. Some tough ass. Love to get a two, yes. <laughs> this is so fun. In a See if he has Mog or Godify. No. This is so good when he plays a team up twin sixty. He can play a big guy, but it's gonna bounce together with the twin for free here. We're definitely going with the uh with the excavator. Heck yes. Is there any reason to play the gladiator yet? I don't think it's ever gonna end up being playable. It just procs the block too much. We'll put this here so we have the option of the tomb razor and one or four, just depending on how he blocks here. You're annoying. Can you play another guy? Show us what you have. Oh, okay. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the whole environment moves into his hand. That was crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. So what do we do here? I could just go for Tomb Razor. Oh, let's try it. Maybe Tomb Razor Gladiator was the play. So annoying. So let's trade. So let's just pogo bounce. Mm. I think pogo reactivate the pogo is the way. I think we'll let this proc the block. Well. Mm, yeah. Plays a 5 drop into Pogo, it's very nice, la di da. Yeet. Gonna have a yeet next turn. Shall continue to yeet. Yes! So we get a free guy. And it is a Kanga. A useless garbage Kanga. <laughs> Come on, man. So I just, I wish we got another card. See, I, I think this happens too much. We probably need more laser bases. Maybe I'll cut, like, one of the gondols for another laser. I guess gondol would be playable here, too. So there's the goat. And he knows we have the pogo, so yeah. Going viral is not bad. I mean, we have a field, but it's pretty sad. He freezes. I probably should not have played this because of board space. Board space is too valuable. Th this was a mistake. Dong. This might have been Black Hole's original idea instead of just being a cheap, intensely high value environment. Yeah. Probably. There's just a lot of threats here for Rose to deal with. Just going with the heal play. Going with the heal play. Really need the amphibious minion here. Playing around the, the <laughs> excavator is smart. Ugh. 
is rough. We're gonna need some days healing too. We just don't have enough. I don't know. We just don't have enough power here. I think Pogo is the play. I never realized you can mill opponents pretty well with this deck. Maybe we should go for that this turn. Mog. That's cool. And shrink. I think that's fine. He's clearing away these me. We'll, we'll be able to get so much value on this deal now. <laughs> oh my gosh, the heals. Swash isn't necessary, it just seems like it would be better than in Sumo. If there was a better option on Swash, I would do it. Seems like it be so this Excavator gets a ton of value again. Excavator, Pogo, and Dude. Plays two minions, we bounce the first one. More shrinks. Bruh! Not bounced. bounced. We're kind of just out of steam. We have all of our early game now. It's the, it's the last block, at least. Ugh. We do it. Ain't going that well. Ain't going so well. I'll probably replay that environment, but who knows. Thank you. Drag on. So, what do we got on the menu today? We're doing 4 damage and getting our field massively cleared. <laughs> I don't know if we can win. It's gonna be rough. Should I go? It's down to 3. I feel like he heals one more time and it's just GG. Not getting it done. Uh, okay, I guess we're playing you and saving this one. Uh, he literally plays one more heal and we lose. We're done, we're done. We're not gonna win this. We're on 20 health and we lost the game already. Because now we need to do four. Like, how is that ever gonna happen? Get two cards. That's cool. But not really enough. Brain Anna. Uh, too much light game. Honestly, I don't think the gondolas would have really helped here. We are so bad. Alright, guys, we have to get gondola. This would have actually been playable. Gondola in one frenzy could have actually done a lot here, but. Oh well. We is we is dead. <laughs> Five and two. Just run mug instead of um instead of gondola. It seems like we had the problem this game where we needed like more tricks, like maybe backyard bounce. Yeah, like this deck is very close to to fulfilling its what we're trying to do here. It seems like we really do need more tricks though as finishers. Maybe we should run what are those instead of this. You guys want to see what are those instead of gondola? Or maybe I'll just like cut this to like fewer. What's not doing well? We could cut a swash, I guess. I feel like getting rid of Squash kills the curve, though. How about just three water those instead of the three gondolas? We have nothing for the water. Really, the gondolas 
have have been sort of filling in the the problem that where we don't have anything we have too board space and just not enough stats da 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 I always change the deck if it needs changes, especially after the second loss. How it always goes. Has the space time been doing enough? I don't know. We need a leap. We Eric, need a leap. If, <laughs> Steven, calm down. <laughs> um. The gondola has been fun too. I mean, it's been fine. We just lost to like really OP mid rows with all the brainanas and the allosauruses and dragons. I shouldn't feel that bad after this loss. I feel like getting a tomb razor would have been really good. I'm a feeling that is watching me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a very super rare deck. Look at all the blue. Maybe Backyard Bounce instead of Pogo would be good. Like, what if we did it more like, more like this? This could actually work. This gives us options if we have that full field to be able to make plays still. Pogo preemptive Pogo, you don't know. See, in this deck, you don't actually know if Pogo is going to be good. It would almost be better to have the option between going viral and a bounce than just say Pogo and hope, hope that it works out. And also clogs an extra lane. Pogo really just takes a whole lane. So instead, not only are we not running Pogo, but we're running uh, cards that are playable when you have all the lanes. Seems like that's happened like two times so far. All right. Backyard bounce instead of Pogo because of lane management. I think that is legit. And a little slight change. Also running another laser base out. Thank you. So we'll go up to six environments. I think it's good enough. Laser base essentially also hits, you know, makes... It gets value multiple turns, especially since we're running really powerful one-cost environments. Uh, the laser... The laser should be able to stick around for a couple turns. Again, Pogo is good specifically against Dragon. Um, that's the that's gonna be like the main counter that Pogo counters over over back air bounce. But really, the main difference between Pogo and back air bounce is not its matchup against Dragon. Uh, it costs one more, but it's two two body on the field, and that matters for mixed up Grave Digger, but also to just remove something that has two health left. I think the fact the 2-2 body on the field is not good in this deck because, again, you run out of board space. I could go 1, 1 plus a superpower, and then hope we draw into a 3. I really like this, but you probably should just look for a 2. Alright, this should be fine. So I'll play this on a 1. Genetic again, if he doesn't answer this, it becomes a really big threat. No, you're right, not this turn, but next turn. It's a must answer card. The thing is, if you have genetic and they don't have answer on one, then either Swashbuckler or Space Time come in the next turn. That's sort of what you want to happen in this deck. So we'll go with Space Time, play three, we'll go from there. I Simp Amber. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wonder if this 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 trial was actually overall good for Amber Heard's publicity. We all think, ah, oh, we got her, Karma. Nah, no. she just became way more famous than all the creepy dudes with poop fetishes. They're just <laughs> sorry, sorry. I apologize. <laughs> she became very popular in that community, let's just put it that way. Wow, huge play. Is 
I don't know, just keep on my face. I don't know. Huh. See you later, Eric. Thank you. Ugh. What? Full of Flora? Oh my gosh. You're so dead. I guess any of. What is this guy? Oh man. He is getting wrecked. I don't care which one we get. Because that's okay. We're kind of screwed because. He's the one with all the threats in the field. And we got a- see, we really needed something expensive there. Something that was really going to turn this game around. Getting a one-cost card that cost two less, meaning a grand total it cost zero. It's just not good enough. Not even close. Not even close. La 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 la. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> uh, yes, voters, I'm sorry. It doesn't look like we're gonna win this game. If we win this game, man. We'd have to just get Thorn Walker from Gondola right now. Oh, it doesn't even stay. Only Splash is our card. We're so done. We lose. No, we can't even go for the Gondola play. This is seven. Ugh. Okay. Look at our block meter, guys. This is not okay. <laughs> I'm so sad. He's just gonna shamrock at this just to make it okay. Wow. All right, five and three. Too bad. Look, well, deck's not really built to deal with multiple Triceratops and Pulitzer. Not at all. Guardian, so much fun. I know. Oh well, the answer is no. But this deck is doing, performing pretty well for what we're trying to do and is being pretty fun. So heck yeah. So I'll definitely take it. Uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Muchos fries grande. <laughs> Why? This is a huge problem. Uh, I don't know. He was using my deck from the tournament, basically. It was Bullseye with Triceratops, Gatling as a finisher. Anyway. It's rough. I don't even know what to do here. I don't I don't know. I think we just play this here. We'll go. Primal. I might think this is a Sumo. So annoying. <laughs> For real dog. Annoying as hell. Okay, at least they didn't set up a second threat there. like this. Sometimes I feel like somebody... Why is he blocking the swashbuckler? It's weird. He's playing like anti-aggro. Somebody's watching me. Now we'll have uh, Tomb Razor in one, which is really cool. Let's just trade. Just looked it up and she does have nice feet. Thanks for the idea, Fry. <laughs> no! What have I done? No, don't block us. This feels like a sniper so badly, you know that? Why? Come on, man. Bruh, you don't do me like that. I think we're still okay. It makes you feel like you're getting sniped. Just like this. 
several types of Yeti. Okay. Bitch. Bitchy boy. So I'll get the three for one to play here. Green three is really good here. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Garbage. It's killing us this way. So we'll still get the three for one here. Oh. <sighs> Well, the answer is no. 22%, congrats. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. The, the cop is so good here, though. <laughs> we can't actually play both of these. So we're saving this environment now. There's no real point in playing it. Let's roll the one. a blockbuster now too well all right show me what you got what you got no bad very bad he instead of dry cob he covers his card i guess that makes sense what am i supposed to do <laughs> can't win this game it's a very sad day for many many jews <laughs> All over the world. I'm just trying to draw out his environment since he thinks I'm. Blah. Four, three. He's just gonna replay Cobb Cannon. Alright, screw it. Let's go. This and bounce lane one. And hope for the best. <laughs> We're so done. So we're five and four now. This deck was doing so well. What happened? I got rid of Pogo, that's the problem. Nah, we're just playing with much stronger opponents. Looks like uh, against the good the Guardian and the Solaris, so it's just getting garbage. Here's an Ultimate League Citron, this is gonna be fun. I don't know. Come on. These backyard bounces seem so sad to get it early, though. Very sad indeed. <laughs> Boy caught the Guardian class, I know, right? Yeah, mop package counters guardian pretty well. Kind of what it was built for. Oh! Oh! Suddenly ma! Suddenly! Just out of nowhere ma! This usually kills whatever he plays here, so that's a really, really good mop. It also means we can set up the Neptuna here. Heck yeah! There's an environment? I don't care, bro. Yeah. This deck just needs mop. Could you run that? I 
turn them off and stuff. Huh? Now we got some real stuff going on. We got some Tomb Razor stuff. That's what I'm talking about right now. I wonder if these two are better than Tomb Razor. Nah. He's just gonna play around Pogo anyway. God damn it. In the box, I haven't gotten the really good, you know, the gargolith or the rodeo gar or the I don't know. I think it feels bad. Somebody watching me. What is this? I want it going viral. Why is he running Planet of the Grapes in this deck? I don't get it. Yeet! Yeah. It still doesn't know what it is. Everything is fine. Yeah, going viral is just gonna wreck him. We still have two more playable cards for next turn. Bro, come on. Come on, bro. You don't, you don't gotta do that. Do uh -huh. stuff that way. So we're doing six. We're damn good. Should make a great stone in or something. Yeet. What's in the box? Where's the big card? Where's the battle cruiser? Hmm? Why can't I click this? I'm clicking it. Oh, there. It's, it's dab. Oh. Uh, this just dies to the <laughs> splash now. It feels bad. It's like this. This and laser. We get laser dab, guys. Literally what I'm talking about. Like, literally. Jump main. He is protected, so we win this game. Yeah, like so many answers here, like so many options. Die. Bop over Swash. I just feel like if you don't have a two, it ruins the tempo. So we need two different types of twos. All right, we're six and four. This deck was so much fun and an utter disappointment at the same time. The deck did so well and so poorly. I mean, we won most of the games. We're ranked 48, so you can theoretically hit Ultimate League with this deck. I'm gonna say yes to YouTube because this was a fun stream. This would be a good uh, a good example of a deck that performed mediocrely. Is that even a word? And uh, but was a really fun deck and we had a fun stream with it. So I'm gonna say yes to YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed. Heck yeah! Peace. This is Fry.